Hi students, in this video, we'll continue our discussion with gas stoichiometry, but we'll be looking at it from non-standard uh, uh, non temperature and pressure conditions. So in the earlier video with gas stoichiometry, we use STP, standard temperature and pressure, and molar volume, one mole of any gas, occupies 22.4 liters to use our stoichiometric calculations and our mole-to-mole -mole ratios. In this video, we can still do gas stoichiometry as well, even in non-STP conditions. Why? Products and reactants in a reaction can still be a gas. And unlike before, where it's STP, and it's quite simple at STP, one mole is 22.4 liters, we can use the mole relationships in our balance equation to convert moles of a reactant into moles of a product, and let's say a product of gas. And once we have moles of gas, even if it's not standard pressure, if we have the moles and it's not standard temperature and pressure, we can actually plug in our temperature and pressure to figure out the volume of the gas. So it's still possible to do stoichiometry, but now instead of using the one conversion factor, we'll have to use the ideal gas law equation. So here's an example of a stoichiometric calculation involving a gas under non-STP conditions. So how many liters of oxygen gas, so we know it's gas, they're asking for a quantity, form when 294 grams of potassium chlorate completely react in this reaction. So we know we're given a certain quantity of a reactant and we're asked of a quantity of a gas. So a lot of times we would be looking for STP because if that was the case, it'd be very simple. If it was STP, we could use one mole of that gas occupies 22.4 liters. However, we see that these conditions are not STP. STP conditions would be 760 millimeters of mercury, which is one ATM, and it would be 273 Kelvin. This is at 305. But we can still perform the stoichiometry. So how can we perform the stoichiometry? Well, for one, we can convert the 294 grams of potassium chlorate to moles quite easily. And how can we do that? As we have always done, we can use molar mass in the periodic table. There's 122.55 grams of potassium chlorate in one mole of potassium chlorate. Now we have moles of potassium chlorate. And here's the beauty of stoichiometry in that mole ratio. We know that two moles of potassium chlorate will give us three moles of O2. And once we have our moles of O2, we can use our moles of O2 and plug that into PV equals NRT. I have the temperature, I have the pressure, and if I solve for moles, I can solve for volume. And how do I solve for moles? The mole ratio and stoichiometry. Now don't forget to change this 755 millimeters of mercury into atmospheres. And that's because remember your R constant is in units of liter atmosphere per Kelvin mole. So when we do this, this is what we get. 294 grams of potassium chlorate converts to 3.60 moles of O2. I rearranged the ideal gas law equation to solve for a volume. And now that I have moles, I could plug that in. I first need to change pressure into units of atmosphere, which is easy using this conversion factor. I already have temperature in terms of Kelvin, so now I can just plug everything in. So NRT divided by P would give me my volume. 
and I see that my final volume is 90.7 liters. So the usefulness of the ideal gas law equation can be seen in just calculations using three out of the four parameters and in scenarios where they're also involved in reactions. Thanks for tuning in and I appreciate you watching.